Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to uh, the seventh episode in our 12 Days of Christmas collaboration with Sarah Mack and Massey Art Studio. Tonight, I am pouring Seven Swans of Swimming, which I'm very, very excited about. We're gonna do some flip cups or maybe flipping lips. I think maybe flipping lips. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. This is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted the sides and edges with my Prussian blue. But let me show you my colors real quick and we'll get started. That first one is of course Prussian blue from Golden. Beautiful stuff, leaving a slight mound on a mound and then sinking. The next one we are using is Quinacridone Violet, also from Golden. Very pretty color. I really like this one. Every time I use it, I like it more. This one is Cobalt Violet, also from Golden. Okay, then we have our 24 karat gold from Decor and Americana Decor Metallics. And we have some satin enamels in pure white mixed with Amsterdam titanium white. And to this, there is a little bit of the opal glitter medium from Master's Touch. Yeah, Master's Touch, opal glitter medium. Okay, and then I do have another cup of Prussian blue to use as a flow extender base coat. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I think maybe we'll use it as a flow extender because we're going to do flip cups. Okay, so seven swans of swimming, seven flip cups of flipping. <laughs> seven cups of flipping. Seven cups of flipping, yes. Okay. Whew. Only six. That's, no, it's not. Don't do that to me. One, two, three, oh, four, so five, sorry. six, seven. Oops. Jerk. I, <laughs> oh, not a jerk. I just, I, I just zoomed in. I didn't see the last one. Sorry. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of gold in the bottom of each of these. And I'm not going to pour it. I'm just going to pour it off the edge of the stick because I don't want a lot of gold in there. I just want a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to come in with some of our... Let's come in with the Quinacridone Violet. We are going to layer them the same, but how we place them and how we flip them is going to give us differences in composition, which is pretty cool. I really like flip cups. I did a lot of flip cups when I started pouring. <laughs> We're going to put a little bit of white on there. Not as much as we did of the Quinacridone Violet, but there's still a good layer of white in there. Now we're going to use our Prussian Blue. gold again and I am going to pour it this time with just a little bit. Should we put a little bit of gold on there too? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we both said, yeah. You should really <laughs> ask me that question. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah, so we're 
remove those over there for the moment. The little swans. All right. Okay. So this is our Prussian blue. So for flip cups, odd numbers are good, because then you can do this kind of nifty thing. Okay, so we're going to start off, we're going to put four across the top there and then three across the bottom in between those four. So that's the center, so we have one over here. Between those two, and one over here, and one over here. So we have our seven swans of swimming. We're just going to give those a second, let the paint run down. Okay, let's do this. We're going to start from this one. Are you ready, husband of Osimus? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay, and there's still a lot of paint in the bottom of that cup. We're just going to keep that for a minute. All right, so we're going to do this one now. You ready? Yep. Oh, I did that one too slow. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get this one right. Ready? Yep. That was better. Okay, so slow, even pressure across. Okay, I'm going to do this last one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn this around. And we're going to do the last three. I'm going to do this middle one first. Are you ready, Jen? Yep. We'll have this one spin around just for HOA. Okay, here we go. Ready? Alright, this one still has a little bit of paint left in it, so I'm going to just kind of come through here and put some of that down. And then this one also has a very solid area. Break that up if a little bit. you notice that middle one that had the twist in it, those look cool and different. This was the one that had the twist in it. No, I thought it was that one, the middle one. <coughs> Those are empty. These four still have a little bit of paint in them. Put them over here in case we need to get our corners or edges or anything. Um, I think I actually do want to do a flipping lip on it. So I am going to put a lip on there. I'm just going to put this one down here. And we're going to kind of lip across some of this. Good. Okay, that's interesting. All right, um, let's tilt this a little bit. So we're going to kind of walk this around, walk it down the canvas and kind of get it to go over the edge. There's a lot of paint on here, as you see.
Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's see if there's still too much paint on here. It is kind of moving fast, so we could lose some. I'm going to take a little bit more off the bottom edge. Because the more we stretch this out, the more we open up the possibility of getting pretty cells as the top layer gets thinned out. some of this or it's cool? I like it. Do you? Yeah, because it actually balances out the other side too. The only thing I'm not loving is that very solid blue part with the one big gold eye in it. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to put down a line of paint from one of the cups. Over here, you ready? That's good. Okay. And since it's moving fast, I'm actually okay with taking off more because you don't want to leave too much paint. If your paint is moving fast enough like this that you can see it, you have too much on there. I'll let this float back down to center. That's actually going to open everything up really pretty and stretch things out. think mm -hmm. cool. okay right. I'm gonna get my hands up we'll torch this my hands are freezing <laughs> the paint is pretty cold <laughs> Anyway, without slipping. Actually, that last torching brought up a lot of little white air baby cells. I don't like them very much, but it's okay. But this is still very pretty. I do like all the Prussian blue. I like gold. I like that violet. The quinacridone violet kind of is only in, in this area. It's not showing up very, very much. But it might change when it's drying. This is really pretty. I like this top edge. Let's open that up just a touch. Too. I like it. Okay. So this is our seven swans of swimming. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Um, I hope you will check out all the other pours in our 12 days of Christmas collaboration. 
I will show you this one when it's dry. We'll be right back. Okay, we're almost mostly dry. Yay! <laughs> this one turned out really pretty. I really like these colors. I feel like flip clubs. Flip clubs are a lot of fun. I love this gradation that you get. And then when the ribbons stretch out, there's some very pretty colors. Interesting cells. I think we maybe had a little bit too much paint on here, and that's why we ended up tilting a lot. But I really like this ribbon. That was the last ribbon that we added to break up some of that solid part. Cool stuff, though. So this was our Seven Swans of Swimming. And um, I hope you guys will check out all the other pours that Lee and Jeremy Massey and Sarah Mack have done because they've been really, really cool, and this has been a lot of fun so far for all of us. And I thank you guys so much for being here. Tomorrow we have Sarah Mack doing her Eight Maids of Milkin', which is going to be awesome. And then the boys have nine ladies dancing, and I will see you again for ten lords a-leapin'. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And uh, we love you a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you.